Hi, this is Vincent Laferre and Tab Fershaw from Freefly with a behind the scenes view uh, of the first short shot with the Movi. Yep. And what we really want to try to explain was why uh, this is an important device and why it might just change things. If you can just see this last shot, Tab was running at full speed and the actual resulting shot is completely smooth. And one of the first things that I think any of us realize, whether we're shooting with an iPhone, a 5D Mark II, or just about any motion camera, is that it's actually really hard to stabilize, even when you're standing still, let alone uh, when you're trying to do a pan or a tilt, let alone running uh, or in a car. Yeah. And I think we've all dreamed of flying with our cameras and doing these incredible shots since we started in video. And um, some of you may know I shot with the 5D Mark II a few years ago, and I was very limited in the way I could move the camera. And this gimbal to me is kind of that, that bridge to allowing us to imagine a shot. Here we are on set and just discussing it, and within a relatively few minutes, be able to execute it uh, with a relatively small team of people. Yeah, and go down this staircase, which was incredibly tight, and uh, you know I could barely fit, fit down just myself. And to be able to pull off that shot going down, it was pretty cool. And there's the handoff, and you saw the camera moved in the behind the scenes, but look at how smooth it is here. And the reality is cinema is about working with other people, it's about working with other professionals, and that's the beauty of it. But we don't always have that at our availability or at our disposal. And in this case, um, if you have a gimbal operator that's solo, you can do a lot of stuff. But if you have a second operator as well, you can do even fancier takes like this, where you're just running through a variety of scenes and pulling off stuff that generally with, would take uh, quite experienced levels of uh, steady cam operators or gear like jibs and sliders or even cable cams. Uh, r running down stairs like this just and getting this kind of result is just not something you can generally do very easily. Yeah, I think that's, that's an important thing that I really grew to love about this system is uh, you, you separate the jobs of moving the camera and pointing the camera and what that does is allows the person who's moving the camera, you know, I can just focus on running and not tripping and falling. And uh, Hugh, you know, Hugh's operating on the remote here and he's focused completely on framing. So we, we divide the labor up and I think the result is better for it. And what I wanted to do as well is I wanted to shoot the entire short with just this one device. So every yep. shot you've seen in the resulting short uh, was shot with the Movi. And that was a key point. Here you see it on uh, roller skates. And uh, we're running after a cab and when people see this shot they're like, okay, I guess it's a steady cam guy running really quick. And then the camera just places itself through the window and one of the producers that saw this said, well, where's the, the platform for the steady cam guy to stand on to make this shot? How did you pull that off? And then here, uh, John pulls away from the cab and keeps writing and then people go, well, how did you do that? And the reality is, in the cinema world, we have lots of limitations and this tends to really eliminate them. And that's why I find that at the, at the start, this is an incredibly exciting um, yeah. piece of future technology that will really be applicable to high-end filmmakers in Hollywood, all the way down to indie filmmakers all over the world, pretty much. Yeah.